Hello, I'm going to show you a couple of wall modifying tricks that I think you'll find are, are really cool. Uh, but you know when you're modeling in Revit and you just, like uh, maybe you're at the kitchen and you wish that you could uh, just make one of those bar type uh, pass throughs, um, you know, right in the kitchen. Let's say this is our kitchen and we want to make that pass through right here. Um, you know, we don't want a doorway. We just want kind of like a window, uh, in other words. And it's real easy to create one of those. So let's do this. Let's get out of that tool. And uh, first thing I'll do is I want to put a section view right through here so that I can see that. I'm just going to move the one that I already have. And then double click on it. And right over here is the wall that I'm talking about doing this with. Okay. And you might sometimes have to... Uh, you know, use your tab button to sort of select around and get what you want to select. Okay, so I'm going to double click on that wall. And, you know, of course, I don't have a door in it either. So let's go ahead and create a door as well. Uh, the way we can do that is to use this little uh, split element tool. And I'm just going to put a little notch in the wall right there. And then I'm going to get out of that tool. And I'm going to drag that line that way a little bit and this line this way. Now this isn't going to be an actual door, it's just going to be a passageway. And just take this up to about normal height of a person, 5'10". And then come and do the other side. Now I haven't even checked to see if this is the appropriate width or not. Maybe it is, maybe it isn't, but this is how you do it. Just make sure you have the appropriate width. And then I'm going to choose the arc tool. I'll make an arc here, and you can make that arc uh, tangent or anything below that or even above that if you want something like this. Okay, but let's just go down. Let's do something like that. All right, now we want to pass through right over here. Uh, we're going to actually build a bar on it, like a little bar place where you can sit and have your breakfast and what have you. So I'm going to go to the line tool and just pretending there's cabinets and a stove and all that kind of stuff over here. I am just going to draw this rectangular pass through and I'm actually going to put an arc on the top of it as well because I just like things that way okay so lift it up like that and then click your check mark save the project and let's just go check things out in 3d see what happens okay so there you are there's the uh, the pass through and we can hide this so we can get a better look at it. Okay, there you go. As simple as that. All right. Now, another thing you might want to do, like in the front of your home, is you might want like a really nice entryway and kind of uh, even like a covered porch area. There's ways you can do that, uh, tons of different ways. I'm going to show you this one. Um, I'm going to go to my south view. So I'm looking at the front. And I'm going to edit this wall. Okay. So I want to kind of show off my door. And I'm going to create a doorway right here. Of course, i got to split first. So I'm just going to split it right there in the middle of that door. I'm going to drag the line just a little bit to the sides of the door. All right. Then I'm going to have two vertical lines. And on this one, I'm just going to take these all the way to the top of the door. And then I'm going to arc it. Okay, so that's going to be real nice and pretty. And over here, I'll probably have like a porch area that's going to be covered. And uh, I'm going to actually use this brick wall to make sort of a um, uh, colonnade. Uh, forget the type of column. It's not going to be like a real column, but it's going to be sort of a, the shape of one. And what I could do... is I think I could take these lines, copy them, and let's just kind of go in here somewhere. And let's place one here. Should have hit multiple. My bad. Copy. Let's go hit multiple. I might put a third one in there. And I don't really have room for a third one. 
but if I would have planned that out better, uh, I could have done that. All right, now of course I still, that isn't quite where it needs to be. Let me uh, get really close, bump that down. All right, now I'm going to cut the bottoms out of those. And actually I can use my corner tool to help me. Oops, I cut the wrong thing out. I want that to remain connected. All right, corner tool's not one to bathe, so let's just do that. Just take it right to there. That's not okay. It is a separate piece, so I can just delete it. <laughs> What about this one? That's not. That's one piece. I'll take it all the way back here. All right. So there is that. Now I might want to add some other little trinkets in here. Just uh, maybe a little uh, like a planter type of window. Put some ivies or something up here. And have them, you know, stream down along the side of the home. And then I might want to put sort of a, kind of a light box, I guess you'd call it, up here. So we'll like hang a pendant fixture, light fixture, for the porch light. We'll hang it right. And there, I think that line is a little crooked. There we go. Put an arc on it. Try that again. And, you know, in this case, I'd probably want to match it up with the arc on the over the door as well. So there's a whole lot of holes I've got. Click, and then, you know, we have all those. We have a passageway. We have some other little trinkets there um, for looks and for, like, a patio. And uh, this would be really cool uh, here, having, like, three of these across. And come over here and put one there as well. And then we would have that porch all all figured out doing some cool stuff okay so that's how you um how you uh i don't know manipulate walls put uh different passageways and and access ways and holes and everything else all right so that's it see you later